senators are ready to push the health care reform bill they through its next it big hurdle. The yeas and the nays have been ordered. The clerk will call the roll. They're holding the last procedural votes after hours of debate. This is the last chance for Republicans to convince even one Democrat to switch sides and effectively block the bill. So I regret that we're, he we're here today when we uh, to vote on final passage when a lot of problems remain outstanding, a lot of questions unanswered. But the plan is on track to pick up the votes necessary for approval in the Senate. The fight over health care reform is far from over. When lawmakers return to work after the holidays, they'll have to tackle the next big challenge, sorting out the differences between the House and Senate plans. They are very different bills, and uh, you can see there's no margin for error because it was very hard to get 60 votes in the United States Senate. We'll have to get 60 votes again. The biggest battle will likely be over abortion. The House version says any health plan that receives federal money can't cover abortion procedures. The Senate plan would allow plans that get federal dollars to cover abortions as long as the patient pays the premium for the procedure with their own money. Brokering a deal for the final bill will be a tough task. The reform bill vote. passed the House by a narrow margin, and it's expected to just barely pass the Senate. That means there's almost no wiggle room for negotiators who need to find a compromise on abortion, the public option, and other items without losing any votes. Tara Mergener for CBS News, Washington.